This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung Chromebook 3 XC 500 C13 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen. Uh, first, before we start, a little bit about the part numbers. The Samsung Chromebook part numbers get a little bit confusing because they're all very similar, so we want to make sure that we're working on the right one. What we do is look on the bottom of the laptop and when we focus it we see XE 500 C13. There's also 500 C12 and a 500 C21 so the last two numbers are important. This is the C13 also known as the Samsung Chromebook 3 11.6 inch. Okay, next thing is to open up the laptop and when we open it, it's going to turn on and we're going to want to turn it off. So the way you turn it off is you do a long press of the power button and it's off. The battery is not removable so we just have to turn off before we work on it. Uh, next is the tools we're going to use. Uh, the toolkit we're going to provide has several tools in it. It has a couple of screwdrivers, a hobby knife, and a spudger, that's a prying tool, and a pair of metal tweezers. For this one it's a simple procedure so we're just going to use this Phillips uh, PH, PH0 screwdriver. Phillips PH0 screwdriver which is a Phillips uh, zero size screwdriver. So the first order of business, once we know the laptop is turned off, is to snap the screen bezel off. There's no screws on the screen bezel, so we just snap it off. And the way we do that is find a place on the side where we can wedge our fingers or fingernails under the bezel and above the screen itself and gently start lifting up and out. And in this way, go around the screen like so until the bezel is completely lifted off. And same thing on the bottom. And almost there and it comes off. So once we do that we put the bezel to the side and then we move the, remove the screen from the screen assembly. It's secured by four screws, two on each side and what we do is we use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws. Uh, for this we make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit when you do this because once you remove the screws we don't want the screen falling forward on you. That's three and the fourth screw. Okay, next what we want to do is grab the screen by the mounting tabs and lay it down on top of the keyboard being very careful not to touch the power button so we don't want to turn on the laptop when we're working on it. And what also may be useful is to free up the video connection cable a little bit so that we have more room to work on it. Next we're going to separate the connector from the screen. There's a small metal bar that we have to lift up like so before we remove the connector and then we slide the connector out like so. Okay I'm going to show you how to slide the connector back in. When you slide it back in you push it back in and then you feel but not hear two clicks and then you put the metal bar down and snap it back in. Let's get a close-up of the connector. So pause the video right here. There should not be a gap between the two sides of the connection in the seam. So there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay next we're gonna remove the connector again and we'll take a look at the screen. 
This is a 11.6 inch EDP screen with a matte finish and side mounting brackets. This is a fairly common type of screen. The part number for this particular screen is B116XTN02.3. Uh, when you do get your screen in, most likely it will not have the same part number, but the mounting tabs and the connector will be in the same place and the connector size on this one is 30 pin. It's an EDP screen which is a 30 pin screen. Okay, this screen is available from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is free email technical support, free shipping in the United States and this toolkit that I described before comes for free with, with each screen that we sell. Also, uh, this laptop is commonly used in schools often, and Screen Surgeons works with schools around the country. So if you're working from a school, please contact us either on our website at www.screensurgeons.com or uh, send us email directly at wefixscreens at gmail.com. And we offer volume discounts, we accept purchase orders, and we have additional support for school districts for large purchases. Okay, if you're purchasing it by yourself, uh, just go to www.screensurgeons.com. There'll be a search box or a short form for you to fill out to find this laptop screen, and then you can purchase it online. Also, we ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the, select your country from the checkout procedure when you check out. Okay, when you do receive your screen, make sure the mounting tabs and the connector location and style match up and then you can put the screen back in. What you do is reconnect this connector like I showed you, mount the screen back into the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.